Hello and welcome to Law Talk. My name is John Celebrezzi and I'm the co-founder of the Celebrezzi Zangi Community Legal Education Project, as we call it CZ CLEP for short. Our organization provides continuing education about the judiciary and legislature to attorneys, judges, government officials, and the general public. As a career ed educator, I recognize early on how important legal matters are and, and how they impact our lives. I am the nephew of the late Anthony J. Celebrezzi, who was the popular five-term mayor of Cleveland and a member of President Kennedy's cabinets. As a tribute to his lifetime commitment to the legal process, we dedicate this show. Our guest today is attorney Tim Lutz, Medina County Public Defender. Tim received his undergraduate degree from the University of Akron in political science and later went on to earn his Juris Doctorate from the University of Akron School of Law in 1989. Prior to assuming his current position in 2007, Tim worked as a public defender in Summit County. He resides in the Cleveland area with his wife, Susan, and two adult sons. Welcome, Tim. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, thanks for coming, Tim. Tim, I, uh, I'm reaching for my trusty clipboard as I, as I often do on the show. I put together a few questions. Um, as we, we mentioned in the introduction, you've just recently, well, I mean, it's 2007, time flies, but you've been here in Medina f since 07, and you are, it's my understanding, the first public defender we ever had in this county? I am the second public defender. There was a, a woman that uh, started, she was from uh, 2005 to 2007, I so I'm actually the second. You're the second public right. defender. But the, the, the office of the public defender, which you oversee, was then started about about um, 05? 2004, they opened the office. They started actively taking cases in, uh, I think, October of 2004. I see. And that was a, a pilot project in... Uh, Medina Muni and then it expanded to Wadsworth Muni and then uh, I came on board in 2007 and we expanded to uh, the juvenile uh, division of common pleas. I see so growth is happening all the time. Right. For the benefit of our viewers uh, the concept of a public defender here uh, has been it's been around for many many years it's just I sort of call attention to the fact it's somewhat new here, and uh, that's why I was just tickled to have you on the show. Mm -hmm. Tim, I want to ask you a few questions about kind of what happens down at your office on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the first one I've got here, and uh, you've already started it, but to give us a, a brief history of the Public Defender's Office, which you have, uh, I, you have given us, but it, is your office controlled by a board of people? Well, I, I run the day-to-day -day operations. I'm the uh, director of the um, group, and I make all the personnel decisions and uh, the day-to-day -day running. There's sure. a, a, by statute, our, our office is um, statutorily created um, the, uh, through the revised code. Yeah. And then there is a board of directors, and um, I have a five-member board. Some counties have a larger board, some have less. Um, the three county commissioners pick one member each and then the two common pleas judges I so see. that makes up the five and they rotate uh, they have overlapping um, terms of office I see so somewhat similar to a board of education uh, yeah. and superintendent you sort of play the superintendent's role you you need to meet with right. this board on pretty much a regular we may we meet every other month the off the uh, meetings are open to the public they're advertised in the paper and uh, generally we meet on the last thursday of the month in the county administration building i see and that gives you the opportunity then on a monthly basis to share with them the volume of cases and that we, sort of thing we go over um case uh, volume, yes, uh, uh, what uh, my attorneys are doing, with some hot button issues that we might see, maybe some changes in the law. Sure, sure. Um, they keep a, a good handle on what's going on and I, I like to let them know how many cases we're seeing, what, what types of cases, maybe the, uh, um, you know, the, the CLEs that we're taking, the legal education sure, sure. matters, that, that sort of stuff. I see. Tim, how many people do you have on staff? We have, there are six attorneys. 
Right now I have two attorneys assigned to the Medina Muni Court. I see. There are two in the Juvenile Court and one in the Wadsworth Court. And that corresponds basically to the um, the prosecutor's office tends to have two prosecutors in Medina Muni. I see. There's uh, two prosecutors in the the, the juvenile, juvenile court, and there's so you one out here in Wadsworth. So okay. we match up that way. Uh, it works out real well. We, there's continuity of service, so the courts aren't uh, sure worrying about where and where anybody is or anything. You know, that's that's uh, I mean, when you said a staff of six, then I, it just goes back to uh, something that I think we we've picked up on the show on, on more and more with our guest. Medina is a growing county, and. Uh, uh, keeping six of you I'm sure very busy at this point in time when it becomes necessary for personnel issues Tim like if you were to recommend to hire uh, another attorney or if one of the attorneys were to leave and you need to replace is that something that's done with a, a vote of the board no um, I advertise in the in the paper I advertise in Ohio Bar Association reports I, I do the hiring. The, the people that work there work for me and with the blessing of the board, of oh, course. Sure, but sure. Um, they leave the day-to-day -day operations just like the superintendent of school hires the teachers, That's right. not the board. That's right. But uh, I hire the, um, the people. There's a certain philosophy. Um, I had five years at Summit County. I've been here for almost three years. You, you, there's a special kind of person that's going to handle sure. um, that, that kind of a workload. and. Uh, uh, I try and hire people that want to be there, not people that have to be yeah. there. there right, you know, there's certain people that need a job and they don't care where they work, but I want people that want to be there, not yeah. that have to. Well, sure. Uh, we had, uh, and I'm sure you're familiar with him, Tim Young, the, the state public defender on a whole right. position for the state of Ohio, said almost exactly the right. same thing. It takes sort of a special kind of attorney to do this. Um, well, uh, I think you, you, you've covered you know, your duties pretty well. Um, at least giving us a thumbnail of the courts that you're in. I, I, I'm going to just gloss, I'm going to backtrack on that just a little bit, Tim, for the benefit of our viewers. In Medina Municipal Court, and we've had, we've had Judge Chase on the show, mm -hmm. who's a, the judge there. There's one right. judge. Okay, so there's, you have two of your, your people assigned right. there all the time. Right. Okay. Uh, does that court deal with Brunswick issues? Brunswick has a mayor's court. Um, if you handle things that we don't go to the Brunswick mayor's court. Okay. Um, if a person pleads not guilty at mayor's court, the case gets transferred to the Brunswick uh, municipal court. That's okay. the jurisdiction. So once it gets to the um, municipal court, then we take over the um, representation if they qualify for us or if they want our representation. I see. I see. So you don't get involved with the mayor's court there in Brunswick, but no, if generally, the case finds its way back right. to Medina, then... then if, it get, if it gets that far, then okay. we, we take it, yes. Now, Wadsworth's a little bit different. We had uh, Judge McElveen on that. There, there's no, is, is there a, a mayor's court here in Wadsworth as well? You know, I think, I talked to Paige Schrock about that. He's the prosecutor. Yeah, right, that, right. I think they used to have one in a couple of the outlying areas, but they don't right now. There are no mayor's courts, so everything originates in uh, comes here. Wadsworth. Right. So you keep one of your attorneys uh, yes. here all the time yes. working out of the Wadsworth office. I see. What about, tell us a little bit more about juvenile. Juvenile, uh, um, Judge Lone over at uh, the courthouse, right? right. Okay, do uh, you have a presence there? We have two attorneys uh, there. There are four magistrates that actually um, work with Judge Lone. So I have one attorney assigned to two magistrates and one assigned to the other two. I